Sugar, 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 sugar. Well, hello, hello, hello out there in YouTube land. Yeah, welcome to the last easy review. We're going to be discussing the BGC reunion episode part one. Now, it starts out with Team Real. Yay! Bullshit, whatever. Team Real, my ass. Because Stassi was nothing but a bully. And Judy was nothing but a pendeja. That means a sucker, bitch, or whatever. And she should have came out her face. That was the last show where they were going to get together. And I thought that Judy needed to say things to certain people. Like, like Stassi and Shelly, for instance. Now, Shelly was there acting like she had reasons for why she treated poor Judy the way she did. And I was like, no. And I appreciated Perez Hilton telling the bitch something. Because he was like, you don't think that you was a bully? Because you were. Anyway, I'm glad you're not in my family. And she gave some lame-ass excuse about she did that because, you know, tough love. He a bitch. You did that shit because you a bully and that's it. Boom. And Perez Hilton gave her the back. And I was liking that because other than that, Perez Hilton was a lame. All right? We needed somebody to be hosting that show like RuPaul, a diva, Tara Banks. Somebody better than that, right? Whatever. So this lame ass Paris Hilton, Perez Hilton, whatever. He's up there in his tacky ass outfit. He's wearing a Scottish dress. He's a hot mess and he thinks it's Halloween every time he does the show, whatever. Anyway, Tasha goes up there and disses him because he disses her, which I thought was priceless. Because he gives her the award and I loved him after that because I was loving that about him. Because he says, you know what, and you get an award for being the classiest, boringest bitch on the show. I was loving that part. And he didn't really say that, but I heard it that way. So anyway. He goes and gives her the big ass award and she's gagging and she looking like she's going to cry. So she says some shit to him like... You know, what have you been doing with your life or whatever? He's like, that the bitch hosting the Bad Girls Club. And that's how he should have said it. But he said it all, you know, sarcastic. Like, you know, he don't care. So congratulations, Perez Hilton. You got me to notice you for two seconds right there. So Shelly's sitting there, supposed to be wearing the same dress that she left with or whatever. And it's like, girl, I mean, somebody give them a welfare check or something so they can get better clothes. Because these girls dress so lame and they're so cheap and their outfits are so tacky, whatever. Before we go any further, I want to talk about outfits. I want to talk about Stassi's clown outfit. Okay. A lot of people had a problem with it, but I was just like, leave her alone. She looks just like the circus bear with the tutu. And I was loving it because she's all like the circus bear. And, and that shit on her head, a lot of people was like, what's that shit on top of her head? And I was like, that's the itsy bitsy spider called the homegirl's head. Died on her head and turned the back red. Okay, I'm sorry, because that red slick back there was a hot-ass mess. Okay, whatever. And then, to top it all off, to top all the weirdness off, she had the, the zebra boots, right? So, it was priceless. It was hilarious when homegirl over here, Priscilla, says, Oh, she's gonna take, she covered out those boots all late and shit or whatever. She said something about her boots, and I was laughing because she sounded like Robert De Niro. You talking to me? You talking to me? Hey, oh, you talking to me? That's what she sounds like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all you Priscilla lovers out there. She's a chiquita. She's cute and everything. But that voice is just too scary. Put her in a horror movie. Get rid of her. She's the exorcist. Because I'm sorry. All I'm waiting for is homegirl to spin her head and spit the pea soup out of her mouth. And bing. Next time, right? So they all there together. Perez Hilton is intervening. You know, getting between them. Telling them. She's all like, don't you think, you don't think you was a bully, Shelly? Because you was, bitch. And Stassi, don't you think you was a bully, too? Because... You know, Stassi was trying to put all the bulliness on homegirl over here when she was a bully too. Whatever. But then Stassi and Judy have their moment. And Stassi talks about how she cried together with her. And she don't cry. And I like that. I thought that was sweet. I thought that was cute. You know, because that was a lot of shit about the show we didn't know. Boom. So that was that. But what I really was surprised to see was Tiara step up to the plate and stick up for Judy. Because I was always waiting for that and she did that. She said some things there letting you believe that, you know, she did not like the way Stassi was treating Judy and the other bitches as well. So I was liking that too. And of course, her and Stassi and Judy are still best friends, blah, blah, blah. And I don't even get that friendship because I think that Judy could do a lot better by herself. Because those bitches are not what you call friends. I know. Next team comes out. Team bullshit, fake, whatever. Because I don't know what the hell you call Tasha and Priscilla. So now Tasha and Priscilla are there, and Tasha gets all wapa, which means tough, with Stassi, and she's all like, blah, blah, blah. And Stassi's all like, bitch, I'll fuck you up. She looked terrified and scared and shaking and scared. So here's the big clip where they talk about Big Mama getting all fierce and tough with Shelly. So she gets up and she's all like, bitch, 
you ain't drunk now, right? So, because supposedly, of course, Shelly was talking about how she couldn't fight, you know, because she was drunk and she was this, and she was tired, she was yawning, she was, she was everything, she was everything but a fighter, and that's how she got fucked up, but she didn't admit to that. And of course, Perez Hilton gassed out that conversation out of both of them and got them to thump it. So, Big Mama goes up in her face, so do some shit now, kaboom. So, Big Mama gets up in Shelly's face and, like, do something now. Shelly, of course, makes us all gag when she sits there and goes, No, I'm going to let you wait. And I'm like, bitch, you got us all waiting. All of us was waiting and all of us was no. So, of course, she's like, I don't need to wait. I'm right here. I got my clown hair. I got my clown bun and hair and dress and I'm here. Let's get. So, whatever, long story short. She walks away, popping shit, looking this way and that way. Like, she wanted the big Amazon to jump up and smack her up. Whatever. She tells her, bitch, you a punk bitch. If you ain't got your friends, then you still a punk bitch. Because you need your friends to back you up. Whatever. She walks away, goes to sit down. She's all like, <laughs> she's all like popping mad shit, blah, blah, blah. This bitch comes down on her like, hit in the miss, like I said. Kaboom. Gets fucked up. And it's like, Shelly, you don't ever, 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 ever learn, homegirl. Because security, security, homegirl got her ass kicked again. And we're sad and we're happy at the same time. Well, I was just happy. And we were happy because after she said all that shit about the reasons why she treated poor Judy like shit was because of tough love. It was like, bitch, you a bully. And on top of that, you a manipulator. And you deserve that ass whooping. And I hope you get another one. I'm just sad that Judy don't step up to the plate and whoop somebody's ass. I really am. Because everybody treated her like shit. Priscilla, all those bitches was there. Now, let's talk a little bit about Angie because I never talk about Angie. And the reason is, is because Angie is a caricature of a Puerto Rican girl from the Bronx. They do not act like that in real life. So, it's like, oh my gosh. She was like, ah, yeah, it was like, I just me on. It was like, I please. Ja. So, whatever. Angie's boring me to tears again, as usual. But she was cute. She was sitting there because she's a pretty girl, whatever. But... Of course, she wore her little $14 stripper outfit. So, that's nice. Is it? No. So, then they got the clip where it seems like Priscilla and Angie are going to get into it. And I can't wait to see that. And I hope that Angie beats Priscilla's ass this way and that way. I would love to see it happen. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but Miss Voodoo was there as well. Yeah, Miss Voodoo. Miss Voodoo wins. Miss Voodoo wins again. Yeah. All right, so Miss Voodoo's sitting there and homegirl got her legs crossed. She's like this. And at some point, she has a little something to say. So she talks to mommy Judy's ear. And Judy, you know, tells us what she said. And she's all like, mm. And that's when we all found out that Miss Voodoo was hearing impaired. You know, sign language. You need to talk to her that way. So, of course, I'm sitting there thinking, can't they get a dress for Miss Voodoo? Because she's butt-ass naked. Just like her mama. Because Judy was sitting up there wearing some $5 dress that looked like somebody ripped it off of a pillowcase and then she stuck it on and it was missing this and missing that and it's always missing something because Judy can't dress either, whatever. And I'm sorry, I love Judy. She's the most sincere, you know, I love her, but her outfit was a hot mess. And so was everybody else, especially Shelly, because Shelly was actually wearing the dress that she wore to leave. And it was embarrassing. Or if she wasn't wearing the dress that she chose to wear to leave, she was wearing something like it that was in the house a little too similar. So it was like, Shelly, please. Could you get a dress or could somebody go to the thrift shop and get Shelly a dress? Or could somebody lend Shelly a dress, please? Hello? Wardrobe? Wardrobe? Whatever. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Let's recap. My favorite part, my favorite scene with Perez Hilton was when he gave the big award to the boringest bitch. Oh, and I almost forgot. They should have split that award in half and gave half of it to Cheyenne. Because she was another boring ass bitch. I almost forgot to even talk about her. So she came out and she came out like, yeah, you know, hey guys, you know. Bitch didn't do nothing. And it's like, girl, they gave you a chance to get on a show to act like you on Jerry Springer. Hello? See, I was right there. Snatch that fucking wig off her head and make her ball and make her look like the man that she looks like without that wig. Yes, I said it. By the way, Tiara had more makeup on than a whole bottom and belly clown circus act. And Tiara's outfit was pretty, you know, but I seen more material on panties. But whatever. And I gotta be a biatch to talk about these girls because these girls were biatches, okay? And I like Tiara, I got more respect for her in this episode, but she's still an animal hating biatch. And you know how I feel about that, Miss Thing? Every day, all day, I don't like that. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching the show. You know I love you and we'll be here talking about part two when I see it. Anyway, thanks for watching my show.